Okay, this video is not going to be for everyone. I created this video for a select few. It's for guys who've been pursuing longevity lifestyle for a while, have gotten some pretty good results, and are now thinking about stepping up their game, taking the next step. It's also for anyone who's thinking about getting really serious with their approach to longevity, because today we're going to be talking about a very high level strategy. Now, this is a strategy that will produce the very best results possible because it's going to be aimed directly at you. It addresses your issues, the things that are driving the aging process in your own body. Okay, so this video is for you if you're a middle aged guy. Maybe your focus has been on your career and your family for the last several years. You've been working hard to provide for your family, and you know what? You've paid the price. Maybe you realize that there's a trade off between health and family security, that you've sacrificed your health in your pursuit of that security. You've realized that you're not as healthy as you could be. You're not in as good a shape as you could be. Maybe, maybe you put on a little extra weight. You've recognized the signs of aging and you're starting to worry if you're going to be around to watch your kids grow up, if you're going to be around for your grandkids. But all is not lost. You live in an amazing time because you're also aware of the longevity movement, that there's something that you can do about it, that it's not too late. But because you're a high achiever, you want to obtain the highest results possible in the shortest amount of time. Now, if that's you, then you're in luck. That's exactly who this video is created for. This video is going to be all about getting the best longevity results, whether it's an improvement in biomarkers or a reduction in biological age. So how does that happen? Well, one guy that's putting up pretty amazing results is Brian Johnson, the guy behind blueprint. That guy spent like what? $2 million on his longevity protocols. He's got a team of 30 longevity specialists working with him to develop his blueprint. That guy's not doing what everybody else is doing. He's following a protocol that's based on his results from a testing strategy. That's really comprehensive. He claims to be the most measured human being on the planet. And I believe it. And I know a lot of guys who are following Brian Johnson's blueprint, or at least part of it. And I've seen a lot of comments on various channels and forums of guys saying that they've gotten results from doing that. They've gotten better results, better biomarkers or an improvement in their biological age. But think about this, how much better would their results have been if they were following their own blueprint instead of Brian Johnson's a blueprint based on their biomarkers, their issues, the problems that they're dealing with instead of Brian Johnson's problems. Now I realize that most of us don't have $2 million to invest in a longevity strategy, but do you think you really need $2 million? I don't think so. On the rejuvenation Olympics website on their leaderboard, Brian Johnson, who's 45 has been beat by a guy named David Pasco, who's actually 60 years old, 15 years older than Brian Johnson. And he did it not with a $2 million investment, but for $30,000. And actually I think you can do it for a lot less than that. The point is, regardless of how much you want to spend, I think that developing your own personal precision longevity blueprint is the next logical step for those of us who are getting really serious about this whole longevity and health span concept. Okay. So if you're with me so far, if you agree that a personal longevity roadmap is the next logical step, then I guess the question is, how do you go about doing that? How do you design and create this roadmap? And that's what this video is all about. Now I've been thinking about this for a long time. I've been tweaking and refining my own longevity plan for about five years. And I've developed a six step process that I think anyone can use to produce a precision blueprint that's based on personal testing results. Now, this is just my own opinion. It's based on what I've learned over the past six or seven years and on what I've seen work in my own life. Now, maybe this process won't work for you. I don't know, but it worked for me. And I'm going to share that process with you guys right now. Okay. So like I said, this process has six steps. The first step is to collect data. Now there's two ways you can do this. One is get tested and the other is to use devices that monitor various biomarkers. What kind of tests am I talking about? What should we be testing for? Basically 
anything that will give us feedback about what's going on at the cellular level. But there's a couple of tests that I think are mandatory. First, get a comprehensive blood panel. Second, get a comprehensive epigenetic aging test. But there's a bunch of other tests that you could take. You could test your functional age. How well are you functioning physically, cognitively? How well are your lungs functioning, your reactions, your hearing? You could test your performance. What's your VO2 max? You could test your body composition. What's your body fat percentage, your lean body mass? But testing's not enough. You should also be wearing wearable devices or sensors to monitor various aspects of your health and wellness. What's your heart rate, your resting heart rate, your maximum heart rate? How many calories are you expending? How well are you sleeping? You can even monitor how flexible your arteries are. Okay, so the next step is to take all that data, whether it comes from test results or monitoring devices, and record it into some type of tracking log. Now, ideally, you should get tested on a regular basis and enter that data into your tracking logs as well, but more on that later. After you've got all your data logged, look at it and determine which biomarkers are out of range. For all your biomarkers, you should be able to find a reference range, a range of results that are optimal. Anything out of that range is something that needs work. Then you need to interpret that data. You need to collect all the biomarkers that are less than optimal and figure out what you need to do to optimize them. Maybe you need to make some changes in your diet. Maybe you need to up the amount of time you exercise or the intensity of your exercises. Maybe start doing an exercise that you're not currently doing. Maybe you need to start taking a specific supplement. Maybe an intervention is called for, like a therapy or a procedure. Whatever it is that will move your biomarker from suboptimal to optimal. Now, honestly, the best person to interpret your data is a physician that specializes in longevity medicine. Now, I realize that finding a physician who understands longevity and believes in the curative potential of regenerative medicine can be really difficult to find, if not impossible. That's, that's just the reality. So, do the best you can, even if it means doing all the work and the research yourself and interpreting the data on your own. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this, but it's better than skipping this step altogether. Now comes the fun part. This is where you get to take all that data and those interpretations and build out your longevity blueprint. Build out a roadmap that is based on your own test results, on your own issues, on the issues that are driving your own aging. Now, this will be a blueprint that is specifically designed to address the processes and functions that are going on in your own body that are less than optimal, to bring them into an optimal range. Biological aging tests, particularly epigenetic aging tests, are based on biomarkers. If those biomarkers are out of range, then your biological age will be higher. If everything is optimal, then it'll be lower. Those biomarkers are the result of processes that are going on in your own body. If those processes are functioning at an optimal level, then the biomarkers that result from those processes will also be optimal. If you want to see a reduction in your biological age, then you need to optimize those suboptimal biomarkers. The key to optimal health is to optimize as many biomarkers as possible. Now, that might be a little simplistic, but you get the idea. So, you need to develop a roadmap that addresses as many of these issues, these biomarkers, as possible, with the goal being to optimize them. Okay. If the last step was the fun one, this next step is the hard one. This is where a lot of people stumble. You might have developed the most effective longevity blueprint known to man, and it don't mean squat if you don't implement it. Now, a word of advice here, especially if you're making big changes to your lifestyle. Take it easy. Don't try to do everything at once. I guarantee most of you will burn out if you do. Implement one thing at a time. Make it a habit before moving on to the next. Okay, last step. Remember earlier when I said that we'd be returning to the idea of getting tested on a regular basis and logging those results? That's the last step. Now, I know guys that retest every quarter, every three months, but at a minimum, repeat your test at least every year. Record your results in your tracking logs. Watch those results over time and notice trends. The actual biomarker result on a specific date is not as important as what that biomarker is doing over time. How's it trending? Is it getting better? Is it staying the same? Or 
is it getting worse? Once you start noticing trends, refine your blueprint, tweak it, improve it so that your biomarkers improve. Now, if I'm being honest, it'll take at least three tests and adjusting your plan as a result of each of those tests to get your roadmap to the point where it's really effective, really producing amazing results. And a lot of hard work because you got to implement all of those refinements. Okay, so that's the next logical step in anyone's longevity blueprint, in my opinion, to design a personalized roadmap, one that's designed to address your personal issues and your personal biomarkers. But does it actually work? Does it produce results, measurable results? Now, personally, for me, it did. I went from this to this. I work out at Orange Theory and I recently clocked 13 miles an hour on a treadmill, which is pretty quick for a guy my age, for anyone actually. They also track my maximum heart rate. Now, your maximum heart rate declines as you get older. And for a guy who's my age, it's supposed to be less than 150. And the prevailing theory is that there's nothing you can do to increase your maximum heart rate. It just, it is what it is. In early 2021, my maximum heart rate was around 165, which is actually pretty good. But by the end of that year, I was consistently turning in a maximum heart rate of over 180. Once I even hit 191. Now 191 is supposed to be the maximum heart rate of a guy who's 29, not 73, which is how old I was at the time. And that data is backed up by my WHOOP, which also records my maximum heart rate. I use a device called the iHeart to measure something called aortic pulse wave velocity, which is basically a measurement of how flexible your arteries are. The results come back as an age, an age of how old it estimates your arteries are. My results routinely come back at about 50 to 55 years old, sometimes as low as in my 40s. In 2021, when I was 72, I got my biological age tested and it came back with a result of 65. Not bad. A year later, when I got it tested again at 73, it came back not at 66, which is what I was expecting, but at 60. Even though my biological age was pretty good in 2021, a year later, I had reduced it by another six years. In one year, there was a difference of 13 years between my chronological age and my biological age. That was the year that I'd gone from a general longevity roadmap to a personalized precision blueprint. I'm telling you guys, this shit works. Remember earlier when I was talking about Brian Johnson at 45 and Dave Pasco at 60 and their ranking on the Rejuvenation Olympics, how they ranked sixth and fifth respectively? Well, on the relative leaderboard, I came in at 10th place. Go check it out if you don't believe me, rejuvenationolympics.com. And that's at 74, 14 years older than David and almost 30 years older than Brian. Okay, so that's the stuff that you can measure, right? How do these results actually show up in my life? Well, like I said, athletically, I perform at a pretty high level. I'm fast, I'm strong, I'm mobile. I have a ton of energy and I'm now doing things that I stopped doing years ago because I just didn't have the strength, the mobility or the energy. I'm living the life that I was living when I was in my 30s, only better because honestly, I was pretty sedentary in my 30s. Now, medically, my blood pressure is a little high, but it's under control. And that's it. That's the only medication I take. That's the only age-related chronic illness or condition that I have. That's at an age when most guys are having all kinds of problems and are on all kinds of medications. So yeah, implementing my own personal precision longevity roadmap has had an impact on my life that I can actually measure. And you know, I gotta say, I'm pretty damned happy with the results thrilled actually, I can honestly say I'm living my very best life ever. Okay. Now something I want to mention, I know that for some of you guys, you'd love to have your own personal plan, but you're still not sure how to go about it. You don't know what tests to take. You don't know how to interpret them. You're not sure how to take that data and turn it into a roadmap. You need help with implementing it. Now you could probably figure it out for yourself. It's going to take a lot of time and organization, but a lot of you guys can do that just fine. This is for those guys who just don't have the time to spare or who don't have enough knowledge about longevity science to accomplish this, or just simply want someone to help them get across the finish line. For you guys, 
I'm doing longevity coaching. Now, I'm not going to talk about it much here, but I will say this. The goal of this coaching program is to get you guys to the point where you've got your own longevity blueprint, one that's based on your test results, on your issues, on the things that are driving your own aging. Now, if you're interested, you can book a phone call or a Zoom call with me personally. I'll talk with you. We'll figure out what your problems are, what's getting in your way. See if we can't figure out how to get you unstuck. Now, that might involve coaching. It might not. Either way, if you just want to talk with me, click on the link right up here. That'll take you to a page where you can book a phone call with me and, you know, we'll see where it leads. All right. I think we're done here. Just to reiterate, if you're interested in coaching or even if you just want to chat with me, click down here and book a session with me. And that's it. I'm out of here. See you guys next time.